as always, this is preliminary and things could change. Um, I was able to watch the body cam or the uh, Coban video, uh, which does not have sound, but we did watch the, I did watch that. And what we have is a traffic stop. Uh, there were three individuals in the, in the vehicle, in the truck. The officer walked up to the vehicle, uh, stood there for, you know, just a few short minutes having a, what appeared to be a casual conversation with the driver. And then at some point for, I'm not sure why, but the, the driver pulled a gun and started firing at the officer. The officer was hit in the hand. And my understanding is once in the radio, is on the radio as well, he retreated backward, uh, returning fire. Uh, inside the vehicle, they, the passenger and the driver were both shot. Uh, they are both deceased, and the third passenger was transported to the hospital, uh, shot in the upper torso. Uh, that's what we have right now. That's um, all the information as I know it. He's been on five years. Uh, he was transported to the hospital. Um, what was the reason for the traffic stop? I don't know the reason for the traffic stop. And his status, he's the officer that was shot in the hand? Um, my understanding is he's talking, and uh, I'm, I'm getting ready to go over and visit him now, but I've not spoken to him, and I don't know his condition other than he was shot in the hand. Do you have any sort of descriptors for the two deceased? Uh, both, both male uh, appear to be in their 20s, maybe mid to late 20s. The third uh, subject, I don't know any descriptors on that person. We, we saw a woman being transported out uh, with a gunshot wound. I mean, could it possibly be that woman? That, yes, that was who it was, yes. Any other questions? Okay, uh, thank you. Were there any other officers with this? With no, he was, no, he was by himself. And I, I will tell you again that he approached the vehicle, spoke very casually at the window for, I don't know, maybe a minute and a half, two minutes. Uh, and then all of a sudden the gun was pulled and he, he ran backward uh, and returned fire. And the result was two deceased in the vehicle and third person injured from the gunshot wound. Uh, I, I will also say that the officer is very, very lucky to be alive at that close range, uh, having been shot in the hand and not somewhere else more vital. Um, the, the surprising thing to me was the conversation at the door was very casual. And, and I know you said casual. I, you said there was no audio. Did it just seem casual? Just the, 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 there was no, um, there was no excited Motion, uh, no excited motioning with the hands or anything like that. It was just a very casual conversation from its appearance. And then I, I was able to speak with a few witnesses um, about how many bullets, I mean, shots were fired. Um, we were hearing like 20, not sure if that's true or not, but I wanted to get from you at least an estimated about how many was it? 10, 5, was it a lot of shots? I know there were multiple shots fired from the truck, and I, I couldn't tell you how many shots were fired from the police officer at this point. Uh, there were multiple rounds, but I, I couldn't tell you how many exactly. How long do you all plan on, on being out here? Uh, we'll, we'll be out here for probably a couple hours. Chief, at what time did he get injured, and how hard is it to shoot with a man that's injured? Well, it, 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 it's, it's difficult, obviously, uh, but he managed to do it. Actually, he managed to do a reload. It's, uh, my understanding is the magazine, the uh, firearm had a malfunction. Was actually able to reload and in a pretty quick time and uh, last question yeah do you, do you know uh, were officers having any direct patrols in this area or anything like that any specific that that i don't know um but anyway he was a he's an officer patrolling here routine traffic stop which turned out to be not so routine after all thank you thank you